Hi, Glenn. It's me, Rosemary Woodward. Uh, I'm standing here in front of the house on Padua that you asked me to take a look at for you. And uh, as you can, as you can see from the construction truck and. Uh, maybe you can see this gentleman over here. The gardeners are here and they're apparently doing a lot of work in the backyard, uh, landscaping repair. So uh, let's take a look inside and see if you like it. This house is located at the end of a cul-de-sac and you can probably hear those gardeners right now. here. They're doing some blowing. I told you they're cleaning up. But you really do have a nice western view there. And as I'm panning around going towards the north, you're going to be able to see some white puffy clouds right there. Hey Glenn, maybe something that's more significant than the traffic noise that we'll be maybe hearing a little bit from the backyard is the uh, airplane noise. Can you hear that airplane? That's just a little one. And that's going back to that little private airport called Millionaire. I'm sorry there's going to be all this noise in the background from this gardener and his blower, but I don't have the prerogative of telling him to turn his stuff off. See, but at least they're doing some cleanup. Okay, let me take it quickly through the house. I just went through myself. It's really pretty nice. Really, it is. Okay, so the grass is all uh, dead. That needs you know, that needs some cleanup, and those are probably rose bushes, I'm guessing. They're all dead, but that comes back. Nice bougainvillea hedge. And we have a little um, courtyard here. Single garage. Saltillo pavers with some, um, you know, blue tile inserts. Front door has a, a glass panel on the inside. Okay, let's see if you can see this. So we've got, it looks like 18 inch neutral tile, just laid straight, not on, on a diagonal, very little grout on the floor. Over on the left wall of the entry, we have some tongue and groove blonde uh, cedar. I think that's cedar. Over on the right, we have the kitchen, which has been all redone. It's really pretty nice. Got a, looks like a granite tile uh, counter, stainless steel sinks and sort of a new faucet. I don't think this is anything. Oh, okay, those are, I don't know what that is. And you've got kind of like a little splash there. I'll bet the washer dryer is back here. Yeah, well, they're not there, but that's where the hookups are. The uh, door that goes to the garage is right ahead of us. Looks like the counter um, tops are, are pretty nice, missing a drawer front there. And it looks like the fronts of these um, cabinets have been sanded. Looks like they're, they're waiting for some kind of a treatment. I don't know if the seller is doing that. Right there is where the stove, I think, would go. Shutters on the windows. The nice kitchen. That's where the refrigerator would go right there. Okay, let's uh, go back out. I'm sorry about all that noise. Okay, here's, what would this be? Maybe a dining area. Uh, you have a nice lip right there on the counter that you could put some bar stools on. The door has been, is nice. It's a paneled French door and the two sides open. I'm going I'm to see if you can see the mechanism there. Okay, see how that, can you see the latch? So these two sides on both sides of the French door would open. The flooring changes when we go into the living room. This is a dark wood. It looks like it's real wood. I can never tell, but it does look like it's real wood. Kind of a smallish living room, high ceiling, And another, another door that goes out to that patio. Okay, now that you've seen it, I'll close this and it'll be quieter. I, I have a lot of doors open. Okay, this, was, uh, this is the other side here looking towards the kitchen. See how that's all nice and open? Okay, this tile flooring goes throughout the entire house. 
Okay, so here's one bedroom. It also has a high ceiling. What is it? Can you see? Can you kind of see what I'm trying to show you? Okay, it's got a really high ceiling. It's got um, a double closet, and the wardrobe doors look like shutters, and they slide. And again, in this room, you also have um, windows that open up like French doors. Uh, you've got the bathroom right in here with a pocket door, a pedestal sink. You've got a little bit of a granite slab there. And a walk-in shower that's been all tiled. Um, oh, look at this. Can you see the shower head? That's kind of nice. And then you've got the block, glass block, so that you get light in here and privacy. This door, for some reason, has a glass door that goes to it. So you get privacy. Look at that. That's kind of pretty. And it's uh, sandblasted. Okay, and then we have a second bathroom that's here. These, these uh, cabinet fronts look like they're better in better shape than the kitchen. Another pedestal sink. Floor is good, it's been all replaced. The shower, uh, the, oh, it's a jacuzzi tub. You've got the block, uh, the, the blocks, glass blocks, and this is tiled all the way up to the ceiling. A little bit of uh, work needs to be done right there. I don't know what that is. And then let's go into bedroom number two, which has been redone like an office. This also has that same kind of door, sandblasted door. Okay, again, we've got tile throughout, French doors that are going to go out into the backyard. And this has all been done like an office. Rather than describe it, I'll just kind of film it for you. On the other side of the room is its closet. It's got a pull-down shade. Okay, let's head out to the backyard. So this is, um, oh, this is so nice. So this has got that same Saltillo pavers that we had in the entryway with the uh, blue insets. The fence looks like it's in uh, decent shape. got lots of gardener stuff all over the place they're, they're doing some nice work on here here's the air conditioner looks like it's in good shape got some chain link fencing I don't know what that would be for okay here's here's a view from the outside that's that's the one bedroom and these glass blocks are the two bathrooms they're side by side Okay, here we go into the uh, other side of the backyard. This is nice. Okay, so you've got oleander hedges all the way around. Here's the pool equipment. Hi. Here's the pool. It's empty right now, but look at all that tile work. You've got a little jacuzzi over there okay and then here's that back other back patio I'm sure sorry about all this racket okay so this is kind of a patio area they have a barbecue area in here they have like a little bar set up over in this part and then that's the one door that went into the uh, living room kind of area. See all the cleanup they're doing in here? It's, they're cleaning up really pretty fast. Man, all that racket. I wish that an airplane would go overhead because as I've, uh, well, before I started filming the inside of the house, couple jets went by and another airplane. Couldn't turn it on fast enough, but that's a significant amount of noise and it comes right from that area there to the north which is where the airport is. Okay since you saw that tarp I decided I'd come back in and see if I can see any water damage and I can now. 
I'm in that office area. Okay, here. That See right there? And then there's that uh, going all the way across. Right there. Now that's the only place that I've seen any signs of water damage on the ceiling. Now, all the rest of the ceilings, I looked everywhere, all the rest of the ceiling area looks, uh, looks really fine. So I went through the whole house again, kind of checking it, and uh, it, it, looks, it looks good. There's a little dirt there indicating that the filters haven't been changed uh, as much as they should. Okay, and then I'm out in the garage. And the garage has, uh, is flat on the top, so that's typically where we see some water damage. And yeah, I see a little something here too, uh, indicating that they've had some water damage. But I'll tell you what's nice about this garage is all these cabinets. Look at all these built-ins. These are expensive built-ins. They look like they're from Closet World. So you've got them on the north side of, um, of the garage entirely. And then here on the west side where you drive in, it, there's, a, there's a full set right there. This one here is missing a couple of the fronts, but that wouldn't be too hard to get. And then you have two little sky, no, these are turbines. You have two of these turbines up there so that the you know, heat doesn't collect. There's the other one. You see it moving? Okay. I want to show you a little close-up of the countertop. Probably a little, it's always a little hard to see because we've got reflection on it and stuff, but it, it looks like it's uh, done, you know, pretty, pretty well. Okay, and that's over here is probably where the dishwasher would go, I'm guessing. Okay. And here's a guy I just met. He works for the pool company that's going to be uh, doing the, the cleaning up the pool. He says he doesn't know what they're going to do yet, but they'll be doing the work. What I'm doing here is uh, showing you the, the street racket club, which kind of runs by the house. Really, this is really not a high traffic street. Let me kind of go around this way too. The whole time I've been here, really there's hardly been any traffic. So, you'll have some. But like I said, you know, I'd be more concerned about the airplane noise than, uh, than the noise coming from this particular street.